now it would be uh, now these things must be a breeze for you uh, what is elimination what is substitution what is nucleophile what's a base elimination would be carried out by a base now we will we have learned that that reagent if it happens to abstract hydrogen we term it as base if that reagent happens to go for substitution we call it as a nucleophile now elimination would be carried out by base that's one thing so suppose to keep it very very simple let me take a base that base can be ns2 uh, like that that base can be amide as we have seen a moment back that base can be alcoholic oh minus now these two will be common bases that will be using on, on in organic chemistry so if it if it is a base then the product that we will have will be uh, abstraction of hydrogen from beta position so that the charge that negative charge developing on carbon can be pushed into the anti bonding of this carbon and ultimately this living group comes out so that will result in formation of alkene now we will study separately elimination as we did in case of substitution e1 and e2 both but uh, for time being we understand this much this is elimination if we have substitution then the same reagent will be termed as a nucleophile that will be called as a nucleophile and that nucleophile will directly put its electron into this anti bonding and from the front side chlorine taking away the electron will come out as cl minus so what we will have is we'll have a substitution cl minus will go away nu minus will get in that is substitution this is elimination all right another important very very important thing that you have to observe here itself and that will be used to prioritize elimination over substitution that would be as you observe before uh, the reaction in case of elimination we had two species here one was this substrate another one was this base after reaction we have this product alkene one of the side product will be this this b minus will be abstracting one hydrogen from here so that will result in formation of hb right plus this cl minus will also go away that will give also cl minus so before reaction we have the substrate and this base after reaction we have this product and these two side products so before reaction we had two species after reaction we have three species number of species in the system has increased and when a number of species in the system increases so does entropy the entropy will be important to explain the the pathway taken by a reaction whether that is elimination or substitution entropy you must be knowing if you have heard of thermodynamics you must have heard of entropy now entropy i'll uh, like this is i'll not discuss what entropy is but i'll tell you entropy is a measure of randomness and then uh, having said that you may you, that's very easy for you to understand and where th when there are more number of molecules then the randomness also increases when you have two then if they the two are moving around in the system then the random randomness will be less if there are three three moving around in the system randomness will increase so if we have been asked at a given point which molecule is there it, it will be either one of these two when you have three of them and you have been asked at a given point which molecule would be there it can be either of one of these three so the probability of having anything anywhere decreases so it becomes more and more random that's how they explain randomness with entropy so when you have more number of molecules entropy increases right in this case entropy would increase if you see here before the reaction you had the substrate and the nucleophile that means you had two of it once the reaction is over you have the product and another negative charged living group moving out again you have two of them product and the living group moving out before reaction you had substrate and the nucleophile going for the reaction two two number does not increase so not much of the entropy will change it will be almost the same and this is very important 
Entropy here increases, entropy here remains the same. Now how are we going to use this fact as per our convenience to prioritize one reaction over another? Now you must be knowing a uh, very important equation. Delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Now this is as common in, in thermodynamics as you have F is equal to MA in physics. Like if you have straight thermodynamics you must be knowing this and you must also be knowing this is delta G is change in Gibbs free energy, delta H is change in enthalpy, T here is temperature in Kelvin, delta S is change in entropy. entropy. Now and you must also be knowing that more the value of delta G more will be spontaneous that the reaction of which this equation is the uh, of the reaction of which the this this is the equation now delta H if the reaction energy is being released delta H would be negative now considering both in both the reactions energy is being released so in both the reaction delta H will be negative delta H will be negative here if we consider delta S is 0 so this term because entropy is not increasing we have two num numbers of subs species before the reaction and same number of species after the reaction so not much change in entropy so if this is almost equal to 0 then the delta G for substitution in case of substitution delta G will be simply delta H now delta H will be negative if energy is released and energy is released because system is stabilized unstable species vanish away and considerably more stable species are brought about so overall system is stabilized so energy must release so delta H will be negative so delta G will be negative and hence reaction would be spontaneous in case of elimination delta H of course will be negative apart from delta H being negative delta S entropy has increased so delta S will be positive temperature in Kelvin scale is always positive so T delta S is a positive term and uh, having minus here that makes whole of this term negative minus T delta S would be negative so this is negative term and whole of this is also a negative term so that makes delta G more negative delta G will be delta H negative minus T delta S and whole of this minus T delta S is also negative that makes delta G more negative so as you increase temperature delta G of elimination will become more and more and more negative delta G of substitution will not be much affected by change in temperature because delta S term is 0 so T delta S term is also 0 so at uh, low temperature at low temperature delta G value will not much differ as you increase the temperature delta G of elimination will be substantially higher than delta G of substitution that means if delta G value becomes more negative the reaction becomes more spontaneous if reaction becomes more spontaneous then the rate of reaction will also increase so elimination pathway will become more spontaneous than substitution pathway at higher temperature and this is a very very important technology in our hand in the hand of a chemist to control this elimination and substitution if you increase the temperature elimination will be favored over substitution and there are various elimination reactions that are that are to come during the course one of the important elimination reaction would be dehydration and they will again see and when I teach you dehydration we'll again discuss this concept of entropy and higher delta G at higher temperature and we'll also see that dehydration reaction occurs at higher temperature if you don't give high temperature then if temperature is low then delta G value is almost same as delta G value of substitution and rather there will be sufficient competition between elimination and substitution and if there is not much of the hindrance then substitution may overshadow elimination so to prioritize elimination temperature must be high so this is one of the method to prioritize elimination over substitution that's one thing that's one of the thing we, uh, we can mm, we can prioritize elimination over substitution now let's discuss some other factors that will be used to prioritize one reaction over another and then once we study that we'll study elimination in detail and we'll solve problems as we did in for case of substitution so that's one thing high temperature elimination low temperature 
subsidization. Okay.